Brooklyn and Orange counties, the White House now sending help. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. Joe has the night off. We're going to begin with that explosion that has left dozens of people in shock. Their homes in Newark blown apart. Six people were injured last night. One person still in critical condition. This evening, the Red Cross is assisting more than 30 people. Eyewitness News reporter Johnny Fernandez has more from Newark. Toby Marmarino's lifetime best friend is fighting for his life. He got blown into another building, two walls. He walked out. He's pretty burned up, though. But he's got a long road ahead. Severe burns. 43% of his body. The two-floor building managed by Newark Housing Authority is left unrecognizable after an explosion on Friday evening. My son came this way. I ran out the door and ran down that way. My son went out there. He said, my house is blown up. Newark officials say six people were hurt, five taken to area hospitals, one woman with serious burns. Thank God he got out, though. It's a miracle he got out. There's video circulating of the, the actual explosion. I mean, it rocked our building, it rocked everything around there. Toby says the apartments were having work done and the ongoing changes caused issues for residents. For two days, he was complaining that there was no gas in his house. So I don't. I, the gas wasn't even coming up. Maybe it was accumulating somewhere else until this finally happened. As crews started demolishing the building, Toby says he's thinking about his best friend and his best friend's family as they process a new reality. Yeah, they were thinking of getting some belongings, but they won't allow them there to, you know, everything's a loss. The Red Cross helped over 30 people in this apartment complex after this explosion, and the investigation as to what exactly led up to the explosion is ongoing.